Hey there, welcome to the Science Hutch. I'm Hutch, and this is our science today. Our very special science is all about momentum and the conservation of momentum during an event here with Lee rolling along her four kilogram skateboard with a constant speed of three meters per second when she jumps off the back and continues forward with a velocity of two meters per second relative to the ground. This causes the skateboard to go flying forward with a speed of 15.5 meters per second relative to the ground. What is Lee's mass? Now, my fellow physicists, this event is known as an explosion. There is no boom and there is no fire, but there is two things together and then they are separating and it's going to be very helpful to make pictures of what is happening here. So we want to draw Lee. Here's Lee with the helmet of Lee. Very happy that Lee has the helmet to be safe on the skateboard. Skateboard. Dun, dun, dun. And moving along, relative to the ground, we will call this a velocity. This will be the initial conditions. Before conditions will be the initial conditions. So we'll use an I as a subscript for that initial velocity. And what is it? What is it? Let's go find it here. Here it is, three meters per second, a constant velocity of three meters per second, 3.0 m per s meters per second. Um, the skateboard, we know its mass of four kilograms, but we don't know Lee's mass. Now, let's make an after picture. So after, this will also be known as our final conditions here. We were going to call this the Lee, the Lee skateboard system there. And then there's a little highlighting to illustrate the Lee skateboard system. And then the Lee skateboard system must continue to have the same momentum after Lee jumps off the skateboard. Now Lee jumps off the skateboard. Here goes the skateboard. Boom. Boom. Really, really fast. Long velocity vector there. A V subscript F for final velocity of 15.5 meters per second. And then Lee is actually yeah, still moving forward here. Yeah, still moving forward with a final velocity of 2.0 meters per second. Aha! So no one ends up moving backwards. And we're going to need to separate. These are two final velocities, so let's call this VFL, two subscripts, for Lee's final velocity, and VFS for the skateboard's final velocity. And uh, in the beginning, we don't need to put two different initial velocities because, because they're both the same. The initial velocity for Lee and the skateboard are the same. They're moving together. Now, let's see here. How are we going to solve this? Well, the law of conservation of momentum says, is the way to solve this thing. We're, all we have to say is that momentum, which we use lowercase p, momentum, there's a lowercase p there, and momentum for the initial situation for the system is equal to the momentum after or in the final situation. So we'll put a subscript I and subscript F. Now we want to be specific. So we're going to drop the equal sign here and make this specific to the situation. So initially, what is all the momentum in the system? Well, it would be the mass of Lee. We'll call it M, lowercase m for mass, and then subscript L for Lee, which is a question mark right now. We don't know, but we are going to find it in kilograms. And then the mass of the skateboard, M, we'll put a subscript S for skateboard. They tell us, they tell us that is 4 kilograms, 4 kgs. So what is all the momentum in motion? We have two objects moving as one. Momentum, momentum is mass times velocity. So we're going to use that idea to put in the mass and velocity of each item. So we have the mass of Lee, ML, times the velocity initial for Lee. And I'm not going to put a VIL because, remember, they're moving together. So we just need one VI. And we're going to also add in the mass of the skateboard, and its momentum is its mass times its initial velocity. 
and then after Lee jumps off, they're going to be separate, and they're going to have momentums still to the right, and we'll make to the right the positive direction since everything is moving to the right. If you have two, the opposite directions, like right and left in the same situation, you'd make one of them negative. Um, but we're both moving to the right in every case here, so we're going to make everything positive. The mass of the skateboard and then its final velocity, final velocity skateboard, plus the mass of Lee, and then Lee's final velocity, VFL. Okay, now we're going to start substituting in numbers, all the numbers that we know. So we don't know the mass of Lee. We're going to leave it as M subscript L. We do know Lee's initial velocity is 3.0 meters per second. We're going to put that in parentheses there to show it's being multiplied. Plus the mass of the skateboard we know is 4.0 kilograms. 4.0 kg times the skateboard's initial velocity, moving along with Lee there at 3 meters per second. That fills in the left side. Now on the right side, we're going to put in the mass of the skateboard afterwards, and it's still going to have the same mass. It's still going to be 4.0 kilograms, and now it's moving much faster. Its final velocity is 15.5 meters per second, and then we're going to fill in plus the mass of Lee, but we don't know it, so we're going to put it M subscript L again, and then Lee's final velocity. Let's see if we can squish it in here. Whoa! Lee's final velocity right there, 2 meters per second. Let's see if we can squeeze this in. 2 meters per second. I'm going to leave out the point O so I can fit it. Okay, now, now let's start crunching numbers. Okay, so we have, we have 3 meters per second times ML. We're just going to leave that as an ML times 3 0 meters per second. There we go. Plus 4 times 3 is 12. So we're going to have 12. Now let's combine the units. Kilograms times, we'll put a dot there for times, meters per second. We say kilogram meters per second. That's the unit for momentum. And then 4 times 15.5 is 62. And then kilograms meters per second. Kilogram meters per second again. Plus and then we have M subscript L times 2 meters per second. We're just going to rewrite that. Okay, now let's start combining like terms where we can. So let's subtract 12 kilogram meters per second on the left. And always got to do the same thing to both sides. So we're going to subtract 12 kilogram meters per second on the right as well. And we're going to end up, and then let's also, let's, let's do this all swiftly in one step. So let's subtract ML times 2 meters per second from both sides as well. And I'm just going to put it underneath its like terms here. 2 meters per second. All right, so what do we end up with here? We get to cancel out this stuff here, cancel out that stuff there, and let's write it all nice and neat. So we're going to end up with M subscript L times 3 meters per second minus M subscript L times 2 meters per second on the left equals 62 minus 12 kilogram meters per second on the right. And 62 minus 12 is 50, so we're going to write 50 kilogram meters per second on the right. Now, because we have ML uh, in both terms on the left, we can factor it out. And we have ML times... 3.0 meters per second minus 2.0 meters per second. And then we're just going to rewrite our 50 kilogram meters per second on the right. And then 3 minus 2 is 1.0 meters per second times M subscript L equals 50 kilogram times meters per second. And now we're going to divide both sides by 1.0 meters per second. Divide both sides by 1.0 meters per second. And when you divide 50 by 1, you get 50. And then we're going to cancel out the 1 and the meters per second on the left. And we're going to get M subscript L equals 50. Now watch what happens with the units. We're going to be able to cancel out the meters per second with the meters per second. And we end up with just kilograms, which is beautiful because that is the unit for mass. And that is what we are trying to find. So at the end of the day, the mass of Lee is 50 kilograms. We come all the way back here to our answer. Dun, 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 dun. The mass of Lee's M subscript L is 50 
kilograms. Okay, that's how you use conservation of energy to solve a fairly complicated explosion type of event. And thank you for physicsing with me today. This was the science. I was the hutch. You're the physicist. So keep on physicsing. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.